super excited because it's right here and it's it's pretty epic looking. This mountain behind me here is Kintamani and it's an active volcano and that is where we're headed, tagged to the very top. Kels keeps letting the uh, size of the mountain over here intimidate her a little bit. And I'm not a wussy but it looks really really high and like a pretty difficult hike. Not taking no for an answer. Pushing her up this thing. Jerry's testing me right now. We'll see if I can make it. We're on our way up Mount Batur right now. In front of us is Quintamani Volcano. We're about 20 minutes in. We're about to get to the climb. It's actually really nice. It's starting to sprinkle a little, so it's keeping us cool. Bali is mostly Hindu, so as we're walking, we're hearing chanting going on back here, and it sounds so beautiful, and it's just really peaceful. That light drizzle that I told you about before got a little heavier, turned into a bit of a thunderstorm, but Made, the mountain guide, knows all the tricks, and look at this. I got a homemade Balinese umbrella. I'm pretty tired. Um, right now it's kind of straight up, and it doesn't help that we just basically had a river on our trail instead of rocks. We're about three minutes from the crater right now. As you can see, we got a little wet on the hike up, but it was beautiful. We have a great view this way right now, but you can't see much more than about 20 feet ahead of yourself, so we're gonna wait it out. inside this volcano here and it's actually really warm so it's it's perfect after this rainstorm. I'm curious when was the last time this erupted? The last one they had new lava, the black lava is from 1963, that uh, 50 years ago. Okay. And the last one Mon Batura eruption is 2000, from 2000. Yeah. Oh it's, in uh, 2000? Yeah. From 94, 97 and the last one 1999 finishes 2000. What do I do if it erupts? Uh, so kiss my ass goodbye. Just <laughs> what do I do? Hello! I don't ever want to let you down. Woo! This place really is majestic. People come and do ceremonies and they also do meditation. This cave right here is actually caused by an eruption. This mountain has exploded 26 times, which is kind of intimidating standing here on top of it because it's still active. There's a huge area, this big black area down here, where you can see a ton of black lava that's accumulated over some big, big explosions. But then as well, on the way down, you can see where slow lava's kind of slowly form down the mountain. The calm after the storm. We're finally warming up and we have a beautiful view. So it's worth the wait. I'm glad we made it to this temple so I can pray that Kelsey makes it the rest of the way down the mountain. She's like this crazy damn purple mess sprinting down the mountainside with her arms like waving around and all you hear is like these weird little giggles coming out of her. I'm like running down on these rocks and it really thinks I'm a complete mess, but I have a method. It may look really dysfunctional, but it works for me. I think for a little while, Kels was uh, questioning whether I had a good idea with this one, but once we got up here and had the views of the crater and got to feel those heat pockets, I think she realized I was right, and it's a pretty epic adventure. Very well earned rice and egg Balinese style, some chicken and some chicken 
with Balinese uh, sauce and it's so good. It's like this tiny little local place. We stopped in, grabbed some beer, grabbed some food and uh, it's like the most relaxing way to finish our little trek. Now don't you